of numbers. When we do programming, we often have to do these sequences. So, not surprisingly, this is automated. Okay, so if I say range, and it takes argument 10. Okay, so I get 10 numbers starting from 0, so it starts from 0. And um, to have 10, well, you know, uh, we don't get number 10 because that would be the 11th number okay so that's something to to keep in mind okay let's just do a bit more what if i give the huge number okay so this is this is nice system so I'll just give you a few of them okay well maybe that was a bit too much how about uh, 1000 let's see okay this will still take a long time well let's make it smaller 300 okay I have to start again Okay, well, yeah, it's um, up to 299. So, yeah, later you will see why um, I did this uh, silly thing to, to check where it ends. Okay, so if you have a single argument range, starts numbers from zero and goes up to the given limit um, by one, incrementing at each step, but not including the limit. So what happens if I give two? arguments okay well that's basically you can see at the bottom either you can give it the end start and end start and step okay let's do start and end so if I say I want to start um, at 1 and I want to stop at 10 Okay, so I get from one, 1 to 9. Well, yeah, sure, it's like when I said that give me 10 numbers, it's not really how it works. When you give one, one argument, that gives you the end. The argument, the single argument is just the end, where you, the limit where you want to stop. Okay, let's have, a, have one. We can um, use all three arguments. How about if I start from 2? And I want to go up to 20, and I want to step by 3. Okay, so 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Okay, 17 plus 3 would be 20, but that's the end, and we don't include that one. Another thing to, to check what happens if I start. Oops. From like uh, 0, 0.00, that, and I want to go up to 10. Okay, well, yeah, that works. Um, sort of non-surprisingly. How about this one? It is possible to. To call range with no argument at all. Okay, what happens? Well, it gives me it gives me a sequence. And um, but where does it stop? Okay, I I I didn't give an end, a limit to this one. So it turns out this actually never stops. This is an infinite list of numbers okay that's an interesting statement how can it be infinite when you have a finite computer you know that no no matter how much memory you have in your computer it's limited 
you don't have infinite amount of memory so how can we fit infinite an infinite sequence into this computer well the trick is that if you see in the documentation it returns a lazy sequence or I also mentioned mentioned that this is lazy that means um, that the whole list whole sequence of number is not evaluated you just do a little bit what's needed here the Maria cloud system is good enough that it just takes a few to display some I mean previously we used other systems when it's like okay so the the repo goes and it's like oh I want to show this whole structure so it tries to evaluate the whole thing so you get an out of memory error but here it's it's nicely done for you the archetypical story about lazy evaluation is the um, the hom homework for school kids you know when does like parents go home and it's like yeah how is the homework kids will say yeah it's absolutely fine okay so that means that it's all good everything is done oh sure yeah that's fine okay then parents ask can we see it now then you get some silence and like maybe half an hour of work or well, it's like when it's actually done and it's given okay that's a lazy evaluation we don't produce the result of the computation unless it is needed okay so that's what happens here so actually I can um, can make it explicit and I can say that well yeah these are just the natural numbers okay so it's like this is the computer representation of that so why why is this useful well um, yeah, that's an infinite list and I can just take a few I can say take six of natural okay and I can take those or I can take a couple of more 20 out of natural right okay so it's like uh, this take it just takes a um, <laughs> take takes a number which gives that how many elements you want and a collection okay and it can be of course a lazy collection a lazily evaluated collection it works fine there is another one as well um, another function drop so what if I want to drop five from natural numbers okay so it drops the first five from zero up to four and then it's well okay it's infinite it's an infinite list of uh, numbers I can of course combine these so I can say um, drop 10 and um, okay from the natural numbers so let's do it in, in pieces because we can do it Okay, and then um, I can take this still infinite sequence and um, just take four out of them. So why this doesn't work now? Oh, because. I have a faulty key the shift key is not working on this otherwise very nice keyboard okay so this is take four uh, from uh, the drop 10 natural numbers
okay <coughs> talking about take and and drop um, there are some very nice functions which is sort of a way to uh, defining filters so there is this take while um, for example um, well I have this collection now let's just write a vector okay and let's see what does it return okay so now this have a collection it starts with the vector and it's like this is a predicate function okay a yes or no answer and take y works in a way that um, as long as this predicate function returns true for um, the element in the collection then we take it okay so it's the way it works that take while is this a negative number goes to the first one negative two or oh, that's negative okay so we keep it negative one still negative we keep it well negative one again we certainly keep it then comes zero and it's like okay that's not negative job done please note that there is another negative one there but it's like okay we stop the process we just go until um, go as long as the predicate returns true here's a is its sibling drop file negative okay, let me just copy this Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's for whatever reason. Okay, let's, let's give it a slightly different one. Top file. Ah, so it's the sibling. While well, take while takes until as long as the predicate is true, drop file does the same. As long as the predicate returns true, we drop it. Okay, so these are like well, nice tools to get uh, some elements uh, from the sequence from the front. Okay, let's uh, start from the front, and as long we have a predicate function, and um, we just go on with that. So let's see. as it's zero and I have one zero 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 I get back yes because it checks the, the first element which is one and it's not zero and then it's like okay job done I don't need to check anymore okay so what we did here was about generating sequences and we use range well it's a range of numbers and um, there are different ways um, of specifying what sort of sequence we want and it's interesting that um, this is actually a, a lazy sequence so it's not evaluated therefore we can have infinitely many numbers in this sequence And once we have these nice infinite sequences that there are these tools take and drop um, to manipulate them to get some 
some parts out of that but you know you might there might be a situation where you don't know how many elements you want it's just you want to take as long as the condition is satisfied and um, therefore we have take while and, and drop while and that's about the lazy sequences of numbers <laughs>